Welcome to the Q&A session, information session on the Connected Communities Fund, loneliness and social isolation. Um, we're going to run through uh, what the fund is and uh, who might be eligible to apply for it now. So I'm going to start off by bringing up the application form and sharing that with you. Now, let's just check if that's whether you can see that. Can you see that at the moment? Is it sharing? Yeah, we can. Right, great. Okay, so great. So this fund is um, from the Welsh Government um, and administered by CAVS. The whole point of this is around tackling loneliness and social isolation and finding ways at grassroots organisation levels to bin, build stronger social connections. As you can see, there's four main priority themes around increasing and promoting opportunities for people to connect, um, community infrastructure to support connected communities, cohesive and supportive communities and building awareness and promoting positive attitudes. So um, this fund is uh, allows you to apply for up to two and a half thousand. Um, must be organisations that are working at the heart of the community and have a separate governing document and a separate bank account. So some examples that you might consider applying for funding for would be local events such as starting up activities, choirs, lunch clubs, coffee mornings, that kind of thing. Um, thinking about people that are perhaps being left out in the community at the moment and how you might encourage them to come out of their houses, such as adapting facilities to, to cater for a wider age range or of audiences or, or people with different disabilities. Um, thinking about how to cater for the digitally excluded. So, um, you know, whether that's around newsletters or whether it's about perhaps providing some kind of um, digital support to enable them to, to, to have them um, uh, to, to access the community, even if they can't leave the house for some reason. Um, things like befrienders, um, building up local pools of volunteers uh, and marketing and promotion of events. So, as I mentioned, it's for up to two and a half thousand and we're really looking for small local organisations uh, and ways of bringing in more people together in your community. Um, We'll ask for the governing document, and if you um, perhaps are a new organisation and you haven't got that sorted yet, then, then by all means contact CAVS and we can talk through that and, and help you get that sorted out also. Um, so the closing date is the Sunday the 5th of June, and the application form is on the CAVS website. Uh, also there is a consent form, so if you are taking photos which you'll be submitting to us, that you're able to get everybody's authority for that uh, and the important thing also is that after if you are successful after the date of the um the finish of the project we do need a monitoring form back with receipts and um, hopefully photos also within two weeks at the end of the project so the middle of april next year okay as with most grants uh you can't obtain funding for something retrospectively i.e that you've already purchased and in this case, it's not really about staff funding, it's about funding for particular activities that will enhance the ongoing social connection within your community. Um, okay, so, and also we'll ask you to make sure that the details of that project are on infoengine.com so that everybody can see what's going on. So the actual application form itself, you put all your details in there, especially careful with the bank account to make sure it's the right bank account name if you are successful and we're looking to pay funds to you. The name of the project, your start and end date, what you're going to do to assist improving the loneliness and social isolation in your, in your community, how you'll meet the fund aims if you look back at the four aims at the top, what difference the funding will make, um, who will benefit, whether you've applied for other funding for COVID or community uh, funding and whether that was successful and then a full breakdown of the uh, money and the figures and what your purchases whether it be services or um, goods and then the signature of the authorised person. So are there any questions on that form or, or on the fund at this stage? Hey Jen, if I'm a, a, a small local group can I still apply uh, without a governing document? You do need to have a, a governing document because what we need to see is that you are uh, a, a sort of an independent organisation um, that has a like a management committee. So what I would say is to to, to speak to myself um, or phone cabs 
um, so that we can go through and see where you are and see whether you're eligible. But you do need to be a separate organisation as opposed to an individual applying for this. Okay, thank you. Okay, anybody else? Just could you give a few examples of um, things that we uh, can spend the money on? Yeah, okay. So, for example, if you were setting up um, a choir and you needed to rent uh, a community hall, or perhaps you needed to improve the, the seating to be able to offer a pop-up ca community cafe, um, or perhaps you needed to be able to make a, a space, community space more friendly and accessible for different types of people. Um, you know, something like if you were doing like a men's sheds or some sort of activities, those are the kind of things. Or maybe if you have got people who can't come out of the house and so they need to have, uh, there needs to be some sort of improved microphones, digital equipment um, to a certain extent to enable them to take part in the virtual meetings. But we're really looking particularly at how you might make things comfortable to attract people out into the community to, to make those connections. Does that answer your question, okay? Yeah, thanks. Yeah, great. Okay, any other questions? Okay, well, what we'll do, we'll just move on to the other form which we have, which is the monitoring form, uh, and see if I can share this one with you as well. Um, back to here. I'll stop share that one, and then... Hopefully share screen this one. Okay, can you see this form now? Oh, hang on, no, you probably can't yet with that there. How about now? Yeah, that's yeah. up. Yeah, okay, great. So obviously you can complete this in Welsh or in English, but just for the purposes of today, I'm, I'm doing it in English. So this is the monitoring report form. Uh, and just to go through what you need to do, so you need your name, you need to know the, the activities, they were undertaken, highlighting any key successes. So perhaps people that managed to come out of the house and feel supported or increase their confidence and the number of volunteers um, and the number of beneficiaries. And then think about in particular, which of the fund aims that you achieved or you might have achieved all of them or some of them. So, you know, things like whether you've promoted positive attitudes and confidence, whether you enable people to be able to sort of connect and feel, feel supported uh, and put those in there. Uh, any challenges that you face, that's fine. There's always challenges. So, you know, put those in there so we can understand a bit more. And then what publicity you've carried out. So typically that could be social media, newsletters, um, posters, you know, sort of making different groups aware. So make sure we put that in there. And as I said before, uh, there's a consent form also on the website. So if you are taking anybody's photo or videos, you need to get their consent to be able to share that with us because that might be shared publicly as we report back to Welsh Government. Okay, and then you need to put in the exact figures that were spent there and with that you need the um, receipts. So whether that's invoices for services or whether that's goods purchased, uh, whatever it is, all of the receipts, all the costs in there and there's the box to tick you've done that. And then that's the monitoring form which needs to be back with us two week, within two weeks of the end of the project. Any questions on that or indeed anything else to do with the fund? Yeah, Jan, um, in relation to, you know, submission of application, there may be a delay in starting the project uh, or whatever we're doing. What happens if things have gone up since we put the application form in? You know, the items seem to be becoming more and more pricey these days and, and increases keep happening. What will happen then? What do I yeah. need to do? Yeah, that's that's a good point, because that does happen between getting something agreed and actually then getting the work done. Um, I think you've got two, two sort of ways of handling that, really. First of all, when you're doing the application form, sort of have a think about whether to maybe sort of be very careful that there could be a bit of a range there. And secondly, come back to us once it's agreed uh, and let us know that um, we won't necessarily be able to increase the amount, but we might be able to say, well, OK, perhaps you could reduce the number of sessions here in order to be able to have that. So, you know, be, there might be a little bit of flexibility to change between headings, but come back and talk to us about it first so that we can go back to panel if needed and, and see whether we can get that agreed. And what about um, capital? Can I spend this money on capital? 
Um, it depends what you mean by capital. Definitely not in terms of large, unmovable items for the organisation. Definitely not. If you're talking more about perhaps small things like um, some um, tablets or you know microphones or something that your TV that you need to be able to um, offer an inclusive service and get more people in, then that might be something we could consider um, as long as it's something for an, an ongoing um, improvement to your community situation really so yeah but definitely nothing like a car or a or a building okay thank you okay anything else with regards to invoices and receipts mm. do we need to send in original documents no we're happy with copies so as long as you've you've taken copies of them and sent them to us they're fine now obviously we need to be able to see clearly the figures and the dates to make sure that they actually they match up with the, the figures on the monitoring form Thank you. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. Well, we'll leave that there then. And obviously, if you've got any questions about your governing document or about you know the fund and the application, please come back to myself, um, Jan Barwell, or Michael Jonas at CAVS, uh, and and also look at the information on the website. And um, we'll uh, hope to hear from you soon. Thanks. <laughs>